Hi guys, good evening, good evening. How are you? Happy Tuesday, how are you doing? Thank you so much for joining. I hope your Tuesday is going well. How are you guys? Are you okay? Are you good? How you going? Good evening, Ceci. Great to see you. Thank good you evening, so much. Silvia there. So good evening, Hello. Silvia. Jonathan, great to see you. Mr. Amaya, how are you? Are you doing okay? Are you doing fine? Good evening. Hello, how are you? Very good. Great, that's really good to hear. So thank you so much for joining guys. It's really nice to have you today uh, and welcome to today's uh, session. So, iniciamos el día de ahora la sesión número dos, right? And we are going to be uh, reviewing simple past tense. So, I hope you're doing great with that. And um, que hayan revisado también un par de verbos en pasado. But if you haven't, not a problem. So we're totally good with it. Um, how are you guys? ¿Cómo les fue? Aparte de Mr. Amaya, los demás todo bien. Are you doing fine? Are you good? Kind of. Just as you've been cansados, sure. are you feeling tired? Hi, good evening. How are you doing? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Good teacher. Okay, that's very really good. nice very good. to hear. Okay, okay, Jonathan, great to hear that. All right, guys, so thanks a lot. Gracias por unirse. Uh, thanks a lot for joining super early. And uh, we're gonna get started. We have uh, like a lot of things to check today, especialmente porque vamos a empezar a revisar irregular verbs que yo sé que ustedes ya se conocen. You already know them. But still, um, it's important to go ahead and, and check them one more time, right? So uh, to get us started, guys, let me show you the following picture. Les muestro la foto, unas pictures here really quick. And uh, you tell me what the answer would be for them. Hi, Dalila. No worries. Espero que se mejore. Mis gracias por acompañarnos. Thank you so much for that. All right. So let's take a look at the following. All right, so take a look guys at my following question and you can, uh, you know, uh, guess the answer. Tenemos un par de uh, hints over here in my picture. So look at it. It says, where was Tim on Saturday? Guys, where do you think Tim was on Saturday? Cesar, good evening. Thanks a lot for joining. I think I saw, creo que vi alguien más, but I'm not sure. Okay, so, oh, Sandra. Hi, Sandra, good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello, great to have you. Alrighty, guys, look at this picture. So what do you think? Where was Tim on Saturday? ¿A dónde creen que estaba, guys? You can be creative, you can make up an answer. So use the picture and where was he on Saturday? Alguna idea? Any idea? What comes to your mind? ¿A dónde estaba el sábado, guys? Where was him on Saturday? Oh. Where was he? Um, home? Okay, so at home. Okay, so yeah, that, that could work. So he was at home, okay. Guys, what about the rest? What do you think? I don't understand, where was he? Pueden ser creativos, pueden crear una respuesta diferente using the picture. He was where your grandfather. Ah, okay, okay, very good. Yes. 
alguien más? Anybody else? He was in the park. Maybe. Okay. Okay, he was in the park. Okay, actually, yeah, that sounds like a very good one. Yeah, so he was in the park. He was at his grandma's. He was at home. Gracias, Maynard. No se preocupe. Cuando llegue, we wait, uh, we wait for you. So, yeah, we have an example here. On Saturday, he was at home, but very good. Look at this one. Where were Julia and Nancy on Sunday? Where do you think they were? Uh, Silvainet? Um, where, um, we, uh, Julia and Nancy, um, far? Okay, okay, yeah, they were in the park, all right. Any other possibility, guys? Hi, Juan Antonio, good evening. Hi, Jorge, good evening. ¿Qué más, guys? ¿Alguna idea adicional? Do you have any extra idea here? That's a very good answer, by the way. It's not moving buena respuesta. So they were the park, right? So they were maybe in the fountain, right? So estaban como en la fuente. They were maybe in the fountain or they were playing in the tree. So hay muchas cosas que podemos ir inventando, right? But that's very good. Let's go with the example. They were at the park. Okay, very nice. Next one. Where were you and your family on Monday? Guys, where do you think? De acuerdo a las pictures? Where were you and your family on Monday? We were in, at the cinema. Okay, so we were at the cinema. Okay. Watching which movie? ¿Qué película creen que estaban viendo? So which movie do you think they were watching? ¿Alguna idea de las películas que hayan ahorita, guys? Do you have any idea? John Wick 4. Okay, okay. What is that? <laughs> what, what's the movie? Uh, John Wick. Are I'm you serious? Four. Four, yes. Oh my God. Are you like for real? Hi, um, hi Joel, hi Catherine. Oh my goodness, are you serious? Are you serious? Is the premiere right now? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I really want to watch that movie. Okay. That's unbelievable. So yeah, so watching John Wick. Look at this one. Where were the boys on Tuesday? So where do you think they were? Juan Antonio? Oh, I think it's Silvia. Silvia, go ahead. Hola. Hello. Hola. Yes. Uh, nosotros la escuchamos, Silvia. We can hear you very ah. well. Ah, bueno. So, yeah, there are in the este, mini poly. Okay, in the, in the pool. Right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In the pool. Uh -huh. In the pool. Okay, sounds good. Solo que como eh, la pregunta es de pasado, right? ¿Cómo lo haría en pasado? How would you make it in pasado? Yeah. Los, super bien. It's really good. Uh, so yeah, they were, mm -hmm. they were in the police. Okay. In the, mm -hmm. mm, in the, wait, in la piscina, right? Yes, yes. Okay, that would be in the pool. Very nice. Uh -huh. So they were in the pool. They were swimming probably, right? So, uh, yeah, there we go. They were at the swimming pool. Excellent. Okay. And we have just a couple more. Look at the following. Where was Melanie on Friday? Guys, where do you think uh, Melanie was on Friday? Uh, 
She was dinner with her family. Okay, probably she had like some dinner with her family. Oh. So if you take a look, yes, Diana, Diana, Silvia, uh, Silvia, oh my God, le cambia, Sandra. <laughs> I'm changing names today, but that's a very good option. Eh, ¿Qué más quería agregar, Sandra? Say it, say it. Melanie is the girl salon. No, yes. Well, we can have the girl. Mm -hmm. So we can uh, have the 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 gear, the person, okay. right? But that's actually very good. All right, guys. So mm -hmm. dancing. Okay, probably show it. All right. Yeah, it would work. It could work too. Now, what about you guys? Look at these questions and uh, so give us your opinion. Share with us what you were doing. Um, yesterday, les preguntaba, where were you on Sunday, right? So, normalmente solo digo, I was, y luego el lugar porque es yo estuve, right? And, um, I was at home, I was at the beach, I was in the park, I was sleeping all day long, so I was in my bed. <laughs> so, hay muchas posibilidades, right? Uh, when we answer this question. Look at this one. Where were you yesterday? El día de ayer nos comentaban, oh, I was at the work. Right? Yo estuve en el trabajo. Or I was at work. O estuve en la oficina. I was at the office. Si se fijan, I was. Estoy utilizando at porque es como la ubicación. I was at the office, right? So estuve en la oficina o como es como el punto de ubicación. So that's the one I'm using. Um, I was at the company. So es como estuve por ahí, right? The location. What about this one, guys? Where were you this morning? Guys, en la mañana, ¿a dónde estuvieron? Where were you? In this job. Okay. I was in my home. Okay, in the morning. Why, Jorge? Yeah, work from office. Oh, very nice. I like it. Okay. So, yeah, home office. Eh, sí, sorry, what's the word? Guys, los demás, ¿dónde estuvieron? Where were you this morning? I was in the office too. Teacher. Yes. I was in the new. In the new? Customer. Oh, with a new customer. Ah, that's actually a very good one. So I was with a new customer, okay? Eh, so sería como con la compañía de alguien. So we use Ian, right? I was in the hospital. Oh, Dalila, I'm sorry to hear that. So I was, si estuve con alguien, podemos utilizar with, right? I was with my family. I was with my boss. And uh, Silvia said, I was with a new customer. Um, hi, Ivan. Great to see you. Hi, Mr. Reyes. And uh, so, Ceci, uh, Hello. who Good were evening. you with? Con quien estuvo en la mañana? Who were you with? Hi. Se lo escribí acá en el chat para que lo tome como referencia. So you can look at it. Okay. I was with. Mm -hmm. I, I was with uh, in the world con... With, uh, com, ¿cómo se dice, compañeros? Co-workers. That's ah. co-workers. With my co-workers. Okay. So with my co-workers. All right. What about the rest of you guys? Um, uh, 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 Jonathan, who were you with? So ¿con quién estuvo en la mañana? Who Hello, were you teacher. with? Hi. Uh, el caso mío es... I was working mm -hmm. at the city hall. Okay. Alone? Estuvo solo? Were you alone? Yes. Oh, okay. Trabaja solo? Do you work alone in su departamento? Sí, por rato de repente llega otro. <laughs> ah, más, okay. Eh? okay. Oh, so you were alone. All right. Very interesting. Okay. And take a look at the next one we have here. 
Okay, I think we already kind of discussed a couple of this. So, solamente para, eh, para recapitular, remember that tenemos el verbo to be en pasado que sería was and were. Was es para pronombres específicos. I was, I was at home. My mother was at home. My sister was at home. My brother was at home. The cat was at home. Pero si son plurales, o en el caso de la segunda persona, you, utilizamos where. You were uh, in the park. We were together. They were alone, right? So utilizo was and were para decir ellos eran o ellos estuvieron en un lugar. But today vamos a, um, a revisar muchos más verbos, no solamente a uh, verb to be, right? Vamos a trabajar with a lot of descriptions here. And, uh, but give me just a minute. Give me just a second. Okay. And uh, yesterday también nos describimos un poquito. We described a couple of things. So let's review this part. Eh, en su material, in your material, guys, en la página número 30, tenemos el pasado del verbo eh, wait. Me moví un poco, no, this is not the one. Hold on a second. Oh, sí, es la one, solo que veo, la veo más pequeña. It was my bad. Ok, so here you are. So tenemos, guys, el pasado del verbo to be, right? Y tenemos el pasado de otros verbos. Take a look at this. For example, we have, it was a great experience. Guys, si los pregunto, ¿cómo estuvo su día? How was your day? Please, no me digan, it was fine. No me digan, good. Díganme algo it diferente. It was a boring day. Oh, the wow. Work. That was bad. Okay, okay. So it was boring, all right? Guys, ¿cómo estuvo su día? How was it? How was your day? Please, no me utilicen fine, no me utilicen good. Intenten encontrar otras palabras para describir su día. Not fine, not good, not okay. Tampoco va. Very hard, teacher, and difficult ah. because I doing a lot of things. I okay. go to a, a lot of places. Oh, but that was fast, I believe. No. So when you are no. busy, they go fast. It didn't. Ah, yes, yes, but it's difficult for the traffic. That's a, a cruel reality we are facing. Okay, okay. So it was hard. It was difficult. Guys, what about the rest of you? ¿Cómo describirían su día? How was it? It was a relaxed day. Why? Did you have the day off? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Lucky <laughs> you. I saw it you. Okay. That's really nice. What did you do? It's okay. So did you sleep? Did you go yeah. out with your family? No, I, I, I was asleep. Okay. In the morning. And in the afternoon? In the afternoon, <laughs> I, I, I went to the shop. Ah, okay, okay. Did you buy something today? Yes. What did you buy? A supermarket and grocery. Uh, you did the grocery. Okay, okay. And what about tomorrow? Uh, will tomorrow be off? No. You have tomorrow. to work. Yes. Okay, okay. I work. That's, nice. <laughs> that's really nice. Saturday and Sunday, uh, will you have it off? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, but that's very nice. That's really, really cool. I like <laughs> it. I so envy you porque la semana va a ser bien cortita. Your week is going to be really short. Okay, okay. Um, so guys, what about the rest of you? It was great with a lot of work. Okay, okay, one well, sounds good. So if you take a look, hay muchas formas de describir el día, right? Normalmente nos acostumbramos a decir fine, good, pero no son las únicas respuestas that we have, right? I can say, oh, it was boring. It was great. It was amazing. 
it was really tough. And encontramos otra forma, otras palabras, right, para escribir nuestro día. So, take a look at the other one. Here we have, the agent was very helpful. Um, so, we are describing this person and we have helpful. Guys, what is the meaning of helpful? Creo que ya lo vimos, ustedes mismos me lo dijeron. So, what is helpful? Are you a helpful person? Yes. Yeah, right. So, what is helpful? Yeah. What do you understand by helpful? Yeah. Anybody? And no, it's palabra nueva, right? This is not a new word. So, revisen sus notas. Take a look at your notes. Nobody? Sí, sir, what is the meaning of helpful? Sorry. What is the meaning? What is the meaning of helpful? Meaning? Yes. What do you say? <laughs> no, what, what's, what's the meaning? Yeah, what's the meaning of this word of helpful? Putin. Okay. Okay. Yes. But, okay. Yeah. I mean, yes. So helpful tiene varios usos, right? Si utilizamos eh, la palabra útil cuando hablamos de objetos normalmente, pero si yo hablo de una persona, the agent was very helpful, eh, ¿qué otra forma podría describirlo? Como servicial. Servicial. Exactly. Alguien que ayuda mucho, right? Alguien que es bien presto a ayudar. So that is helpful. Sí, es útil, you know, but it, it's more like servicial in terms of people. All right, very good. Then we have, you were on our page and we were excited about the story beast. Porque estamos describiendo, right, past things. Remember, con el, where, con el we vamos a utilizar where, con you were, y con singulares usamos was. On the other hand, del otro lado, right, Vemos la siguiente parte y los verbos ya están diferentes. Ya no tenemos el verbo be porque ellos nunca se van a mezclar. Y tenemos I gave my accounts information. He called yesterday at night. The program worked well. They bought that product last week. So, ya se me, acá me olvido del verbo to be. Y los verbos ya los voy a cambiar a pasado, right? I'm going to change them to past. Antes de completar el ejercicio, before completing this one, quiero asegurarme que recordamos un poquito los verbos irregulares because they are very important. And guys, les he compartido, I share with you uh, a list of the most common verbs, but Vamos a practicar un poquito de pronunciation y luego les voy a dar un tiempito para que ustedes los practiquen and uh, los recordemos, right? Son 25 verbos, they are 25. Algunos de ustedes ya los conocen, pero quiero asegurarme, you know, que no se les hayan olvidado, right? That you have not forgotten those. So let's take a look at this one. And guys, repitan conmigo si me ayudan con su micrófono, just to make sure. That o si prefiere con micrófono apagado, no hay problema, solo asegúrense de pronunciar at home y asegurarse que lo pronunciamos adecuadamente, right? So, el primero, guys, repitan conmigo, please. Eh, B was where. B was where. Bring. 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 Brought. 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 Okay, no hay una U, right? Brought. Brought. What is the meaning of bring? ¿Qué es bring? Brought. Llevar. Traer. Lo Traer. Traer. Exactly, Traer. exactly. Lo opuesto. There you go. So, cuando dicen ahorita, es, depende de qué es lo que ustedes llevaron a, a donde están ahorita, right? Ah, yo traje comida. I brought food. Yo traje, no sé, como los audífonos del trabajo. So, I brought my earphones. 
me traje el, el carnet. I brought the ID, right? Es para donde estamos ahorita. So brought. Next one, guys. Come came. Come came. Come came. Come came. Come came. came. Do did. Do, do, do did. did. Find found. 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 Again, mi recomendación es que las Found. palabras que sean nuevas o que no se recuerden o que consideren que les cuesten, escriban la pronunciación como usted lo escuche. For example, Found. este suena como found. Entonces le voy a escribir tal cual lo escucho. Found. Mm -hmm. So that's my, my biggest recommendation here. Next one. Get got. Get, Get got. got. Get Give. Got. Gave. 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 Go went. Go went. Go went. Have, have. Have, have. Have, have. Keep, kept. Keep, kept. Keep, kept. Leave, left. Leave, left. Let, 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 the let, most difficult let, <laughs> yeah. lose, lost, lose, lose, lost, lost, very good, pay, paid, pay, 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 make, made, make, made, make, made, 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 Read. Read. Okay, read va a cambiar la pronunciación. El pasado es como el color. Read, red. Read, red. Read, red. red. Very good. So, es lo único. Se escribe igual, but pronunciation changes. So, como digo, yo leí un libro. I read a book. I read a book. Exactly. Leí el periódico. I read the newspaper. Yo leo un libro. I read. read. Eso es read. todo. Es lo mismo, pero cambia pronunciación. I read a book. I read a book. She reads a book. She read a book. Right? So cambia solo la pronunciación. Next one. Say, said. Said. Said, said como de said. Tengo said, right? Said. Sí, mm -hmm. so. Sí, so. Mm -hmm. Sit, sat. Sí, sat. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, speak, spoke. Speak, spoke. Mm -hmm. They took. They took. Mm -hmm. Tell, told. Tell. Oh, oh, oh. Think, think, thought, 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 okay, thought. So, so, saquen un poco la lengua al inicio, right? So, thought. 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 thought, thought, very good, there we go, right? Right, right. La W nunca se pronuncia al inicio, so, right, 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 right. Road. 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 Uh -huh. No se preocupen de la W, right. que eso no tiene sonido here. So, right and road. Okay, very good. Those are the ones. So, ¿qué vamos a hacer, guys? What are we going to be doing? So, como queremos asegurarnos that we know the verbs, eh, les voy a dar cinco, cinco, ten minutes max, right? And um, I'm going to ask you guys eh, que nos vayamos preguntando los verbos. Si no se recuerdan, este es el momento para que usted los revise rapidito, los repita, right, and pueda memorizarse o pueda identificar. Algunos son muy fáciles, solo cambia una letra. Si se fijan, come, came, es una letra. Make, made, es una letra, right? So, la mayoría son, no son tan complicados. Uh, son pocos los que hacen un cambio completo, completo como leave or left, or go, went, que cambia totalmente. So, I'm going to ask you guys que se vayan preguntando los verbos. So I'm going to share my screen para que, there you have it. Mm, no, estos son solo algunos. In the group, eh, yo les compartí hace un par de minutos un listado de verbos tú que son diferentes. 
eh, hay algunos extra, right? So pueden utilizar esa lista. You can use that, that list with no problem. So váyanse los preguntando, right? Vayan intentando hacer oraciones eh, alone. And then, guys, vamos a hacer a little bit, a little exercise to make sure we got verbs. So, um, a veces yo sé que no les da tiempo during the day de poder revisarlos. So, this is the chance para que los podamos revisar, right? And make sure that you learn them. So, give me one moment. Three, four, five. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, guys, so I'm going to ask you to join the group. Les voy a pedir que los unen. Practiquemos los verbos. Váyanse preguntando los verbos, right? La idea es memorizárselos, or because en pasado no hay otra forma de aprenderlo eh, que practicándolo en. Dame tu número de pasaporte, Araceli. Eh, Vaya, Jorge. <ríe> Wait, creo que el, el, el está teacher. abierto. <ríe> That's okay. Pero Jorge, si necesita, you know, también más invitados para el viaje. So, uh, <ríe> we are happy to, to join you. Okay, guys. So, uh, let's join the group, please. Algunos se van a quedar por acá. O si alguien tiene problemas con el internet, let me know. Eh, para que no vayan y lo saquen, right? So, Iván, nos quedamos aquí. Jorge, stay here, please. Juan Antonio, we stay here. And uh, let me see. Eh, Karen and Sandra, stay here. Los demás guys, nos vamos a los grupos. So go to the groups. Tenemos un par de minutitos and then we come back. So. No vi a Joel. Didn't see him. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to, oh, le voy a compartir la pantalla. I'm going to share my screen just in case you still want to like look at that one. And guys, eh, solo pueden irse los preguntando random, eh, make sentences random, right? Hasta que we get this part, hasta que los compañeros los manejen, right? Uh, pueden también deletrearlo, you can spell it if there is an issue or and the like. So guys, les dejo el control de la sala. This is all yours. Go ahead and practice. Voy a quedarme por acá, cualquier cosa, or me textean, right? Because eh, a veces apago el, el audio para ir a los demás grupos too. So there you go. Guys, si ustedes ya están listos, eh, comencemos a preguntarlo, right? Para que podamos practicando un poquito de pronunciation. Hello. Hello. Okay, uh, Sandra, what is the path of do? Did. Okay. <laughs> I don't see the screen picture. 
<laughs> That's okay. <laughs> okay. I hope I hope I can remember the others. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the path of B um, is R. What the path? Of where to be? Uh, was where? Okay. What is the pass? What is the pass? Make. Made. Okay. In the pass of leave. Leave left. Left. Where is the pass go? Went. Where is the others? Classmate. <laughs> Juan Antonio. Hi. What is the pass of pay? Pay, pay. It's fine, fine. Ay, es verdad, la pronunciación. Paid, creo que es así. Paid. 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 Okay. Paid. Um, ¿Qué más es aquí? Catering. Um, minor. <coughs> minor, maybe es in the... Bus, yes, Jorge. maybe I Jorge Dalila. What? Hey, ah, okay, Jorge, what, what is the pass? Okay, Andrita, say that. No, again, okay, yes. what, is My the, Jorge, what is the pass of give? Okay. Okay. Gay? It's okay? Sí. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. What is the past drink? What is the past? What is the past? Drink. Drink. Drunk. 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 Or bring. Drunk. Bring. Bro. Uh, yeah. Bro. Uh -huh. Okay. What is the past of read? Read. What? <laughs> Sorry. For me or for the others. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, what is the past take? Oh. Yes. Uh, the take is took, brother. Took. Mm -hmm. And the past of tell? Paul. Where is the pass? You speak. I spoke. Yes, I spoke. What is the pass? See. ¿Cómo dijo? 
the sí. What is the past sí? Es, sí. Yes, sí. Yes. Yes, sí. Oh. So, yes. Y sad. Sad. Es A W. No. Es. Is A I D. No, sorry. Is A S A D. Yes or no? He is. Sad is S A W. Me perdí entonces. Yes. Sí. ¿Cuál era el, el, el... Ay, sí. Sí. Ah, era, sí, yo escuché que sí me de hecho. No. <risa> pues sí, tiene razón. Okay. What is the past have? Yes, have. Have. Um, what is the past fine? Phone, creo que es. Oh, phone, phone. 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 Yes. What is the pass of let? Oh, I don't know. Let. Um, let. 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 L. L. E. T. F. No. F. T. F. Maybe. No. No. Is no. left. No, no. Is this is the same? Let. L E T. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So But the pronunciation let. is different. No. It's different. No. Okay. Creo que este este es más parecida. O sea, se escribe igual, pero se pronuncia diferente. No, este se pronuncia igual. La que se pronunciaba diferente era la de ruid. Read is ah, red. Es red. Ah, read y red. Uh -huh. read Pero is let es let. Let es let. Ah, ok. Ok, thank you. I was wrong. Yeah. Come. What is the past? Come. 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 In get. Yeah. Got, 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 es verdad. Got. Aquí me pedí la, no me acuerdo la pronunciación de eso. Get, got. Dejemos de, 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 de got. <risa> ok. <risa> Okay, thank you, teacher. And sit, what is the pass? Sat. Sat. And thing is uh, is the pronunciation thing, verdad? Yeah. And the passage. Yes. Toco, toco, touch. Algo así creo que. Algo así pronuncia. va, pero, pero siempre se pronuncia así como con Z. So, algo así. So, so, so. 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 so
Okay. Okay. And write. Wrote. Wrote. Mm -hmm. mm. Y pay el pasado es P A I D. I yeah. D. Okay. Keep. 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 todo quizá yes. Yes. hello guys how are hello. you doing did you finish yes. yes did you cover all the birds I was I was listening uh, to the other group, and they have difficulties with what was the verb? They were having difficulties with right. Now let's go for right. Was that hard for you? No. Okay. Right. Wrong. Uh -huh, yeah, that was, that's right. And what about? Oh, this one other. Okay. What about think? So. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Perfect. Oh. That's actually very nice. So think and thought. Tuvieron dificultades con alguno? Did you have any issue with any of these? With let, teacher? With let. Oh, let. let. Wait. It's let, let. But Isn't what difícil? <laughs> that's let, the hardest. Let. Yes, that's let. let, let. Mm -hmm. So that let. is let. Exactly. So let and let. What is the meaning of let, guys? Dejar. Mm -hmm. Dejar o permitir, right? Yes. So that is let. So for example, if I say, yo te permití, right? Um, can you give me an example? Like, yo te permití? ¿Qué es algo que permitieron in the past? I let you talk me or talk in this form something like that oh, okay i let you taught me all right or i let you use my car i don't know so de hecho ahí sí se surge algo bien interesante because no hay forma de saber si es presente o pasado i don't if i tell you i let you use the car no sé si lo dijo en presente que me deja usar el carro o me dejó usar el carro we don't know Uh, es lo mismo. Entonces, ahí es donde entran otras expresiones como yesterday, last week, last month, para asegurarme, right, que el significado o el mensaje llegue de la mejor manera. So, yeah, that's the one. Eh, aparte de let, ¿tuvieron dificultades with any of those? With get. Okay. The pronunciation in past is got or got. Uh, actually, ambos son posibles, both are possible. In American English, it's más como uh, got, right? Pero en um, inglés británico es más como got. Es bien fuerte. Entonces, en realidad, ambos están bien. Uh, tal vez ustedes hayan escuchado la expresión, I got it. Got it. Uh -huh. Entonces, got es el pasado de get, get got. Solo que... En American English, ya uní el sonido y I got it, ya lo entendí, right? Get got. 
pero si es um, British, English, I got it. I got it. Or I got it. Ajá, depende, tiene mucha variación. Pero me gusta estando. Both are good. I love British English, you know? Because it's like, what? Sister. <laughs> That's really beautiful. I love it too. Yeah, it's super, super cute. Ok, guys, eh, ¿cómo, cómo, les, ¿cómo les fue con los verbos? Ya se los, más o menos se recuerdan, you kind of remember those. Kind of. Yes, dígame, ¿qué es mi Jorge? The form, the form negative, the past simple is wasn't. No. Mm, es una muy buena pregunta, pero sí y no. Oh. <laughs> ya vamos a verle. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait okay, 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 okay. Okay, yeah. But that's a very good question. ¿Cómo hago negativas? How do we make negative statements? Okay, guys. So vamos a hacer a little exercise. Eh, ¿Cuántos hombres tengo? How many do I have? Let's see if members is women work. I have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Ah, yes. Okay, guys. Very nice. So, vamos a hacer a little um, exercise here. Okay. Uh, vamos a hacer un men versus a women <laughs> uh, competition. I'm going to cover the verbs again. And I will be asking guys some sentences. No hemos visto negativas, así que todas las oraciones es positive, they are good, right? Lo único que hacemos es el sujeto y luego el verbo in past, y eso es todo. Like, I went, I paid, my sister paid, uh, we said, etc. right? So this is going to be like head to head. Vamos a hacer un cabeza con cabeza. We're going to do a head to head. And no way, ya no les comparto. Hold on, si ya se lo saben, guys. You know them. <laughs> you don't need to look at the verbs. Okay, um, so I'm going to select two people, right? Y el primero que lo diga, the first one who gives the answer. Si está bien, ustedes van a ser el jurado. You're going to be the judges here. Les damos el punto, right? So either for men or for women. So let's get started. Eh, comenzamos con Sandra. So, Sandra versus Jorge, que son las primeras que aparecen en mi pantalla. So, Jorge, Sandra, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, el primero que diga la oración, si está correcta, if it's correct, in past. The right? sentence. Uh -huh, yeah, the first who says a sentence, positiva, obviously, in past, gets the point. So, the verb is mm -mm, take. Take. Mm -hmm. take. I took your blows. Okay, yes, very good. <laughs> Escuché un tuk por ahí, it's okay, yeah. pero era la oración, right? It was the full sentence, okay. So I'm gonna write uh, here, women's team, women power. Okay, next one. So, Ceci versus, creo que, ¿quién más? ¿Quién es en el mic? Jonathan, I think it was Jonathan here. Bueno, eh, manipular. Yes, there he is. Okay, so Ceci versus Jonathan. Are you ready, guys? Okay, ready. teacher. Ready. Okay, very nice. So, the verb is make. Remember, es la oración. I may, 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 Ok, interesting. Guys, ustedes son el jurado. ¿A quién le damos el punto? <laughs> to Ceci. Because okay. make it not for homework. Ok, ok, nah. that's a really good point. El verbo está súper bien. The verb is really good, Jonathan. So, made. Sin embargo, para tareas usamos do. So, tendría que ser I did my homework. So, ok, let's say have. Ok. 
uh, thesis, on the other hand, is good. Um, I made the cooking, so that sounds good. Pero era el primero que lo dijera, right? So, okay, so, but it's good, so many have 0 0.5. Okay, <laughs> next one, let's go head to head. So, Yvonne versus, uh, Caesar, es que guys, no tengo sus cámaras, no sé si todos están acá, you know? So, Caesar, is that guy, are you here? Sí, yes. Okay, perfect. So, Caesar versus Yvonne. Uh, the verb is give. Hmm. I got the... I got... <laughs> I got... Two. I got... I got the cell phone to my mother. Okay. Guys, jurado, is that okay? <laughs> is that good? Note. Why? <laughs> Why? Why not? Les damos el punto. Do we give the point? No. Why? Okay, the, the sentence is okay. La estructura está bien. The sentence is fine. Uh, solamente que el pasado de give se pronuncia. Gave. Como un exactly. Give. That was actually very nice, but for that, for la estructura, I'm going to give you half a point. So, okay, there we go. Women 1.5, men 0.5. Okay, <laughs> next one, guys. We go with Juan Antonio Saka. Are you here? Yes, teacher. Okay, so perfect. So Juan, Juan Antonio versus Silvia Inés. Silvia Inés, is aquí? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Ready? Yes. Okay. Ready. The verb is go. I go. I go um, um was when um I went what can you repeat that? Um Yeah. Girls, si tienen la idea, le pueden ayudar en el chat. You can help her in the chat with no problem, right? Uh, was yes. in this was was when to work. Um. Okay. I went to the park. Okay. Oh, I went. Go. I went the cinema at the uh, cinema. Okay, and I also see Joel sentence. I went to to the beach, right? So we are missing the two. Okay. Um. So Silvia, that's actually a very good one. And solo que normalmente no unimos. We don't put together oh. words. Yes, estaba súper bien, pero sin el was, right? So I went, iba, iba bien, y creo que dudó. <laughs> dudó yes. mucho, Silvia. You doubted yourself. Okay, sorry, no point for this one. Juan, ya la tenía lista, Juan. Did you have it ready? Yes, teacher. Di, pues, porque no la dijo, Juan. Es que estaba ella amor. tratando, estaba tratando ella de decirle, yo estaba esperando que le dijera. <laughs> No, come on. What was your sentence? Uh, I went shopping. There you go. That was actually, you know, tenía el punto para, para igualar a los teams. <laughs> That's a very good one. But sorry, yeah, no, no point for this one. Okay, guys, next I, one. Yes? I go museum. Sí, solo que sería en pasado. I went. Uh, I, went I went museum. Y después de go, siempre utilizamos to. Oh. So, I went to mm -hmm, the oh, museum. I went to the museum. Yes, mm -hmm. I went to the beach. I went to the park. Siempre utilizamos mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one, guys. Uh, so, Karen 
Elizabeth Karen versus Mr. Amaya. All right, so Mr. Amaya, Saka, are you here? Solo veo a Karen. Yes. Okay, amazing. Okay, guys, so easy, not difficult. Wait, I'm going to look for a verb. Okay, guys, what is the past? Oh, make a sentence in past for think. I thought you are believed, but it's not correct. I thought you are? Believe. I thought that you were in your house. Okay. Okay, yeah, actually that's a good sentence, but I'm still trying to get the first one. I thought you are, you are. Como pensé que, pensé que oh. se creía, or something like mm -hmm. that, no. Something like that, but it's not correct. Okay. Actually, it sounds good, pero sin el, uh, sin el R. I thought you believed, uh -huh. like, yeah, sin el, sin el verbo to be. Okay, uh, so Carlos, that's a good one too. Oh, okay, wait, so guys, ustedes son los jueces, aquí les damos el punto. One and one, or 0 0.5 uh, each. Karen, Carlos, Karen, Carlos, Karen, 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 Karen. Okay, so one and one. So one for women and one for men. Okay, no sé cuántos van, me ayudan a contar. Okay, guys, next one. So I have Silvia Stella versus Carlos Reyes. Carlos, are you here? A Carlos, creo que no lo he escuchado. Haven't heard you. Carlos, where are you? He's not there. Yeah, he's there. Okay. Perfect. Estoy un, poco mala, estoy un poco mala garganta. Oh, are you feeling sick? Eh, pero, pero sí puede hablar. A mí sí. solo va a ser una oración. You will sí. just make a sentence, literalmente. Okay. Perfect, guys. Let's go. Guys, si les quieren ayudar a su equipo, les pueden escribir en el chat, right? para que ellos también sigan la idea and uh, ellos sean quienes participen oralmente, right? Next one, guys. What is the past? Make a sentence in past for lose. Lose. Remember, es el primero que lo diga. So Carlos, Silvia. Ah, uh, sería luz, dice vea. Luz. Los. A sentence. You have to make. You have to make a sentence. Ah. Uh, los. You lost in my city, Daisy. I'm sorry. You lost in my house. Okay, so look at con ese cambio. The first sentences, Silvia. Yeah, because it's actually cambiaría. That will change. So Carlos, are you ready? Silvia, are you ready? Say it. <laughs> I I lost my my house. I lost or lose. What do you think? Lose or lost? Uh, I lost. Lost. Thank you so much, Silvia, for helping. <laughs> okay, actually, yeah, that's a very good one. Uh, so, Carlos, good job. Silvia, very good job. Yeah, uh, this one, so let's tengo que dar men. And I mentioned why. Con el luz es de perder algo, right? So, yo perdí mi casa, si es posible. Si la embargó, por ejemplo, and la perdió. ¿Por qué no puedo decir yo me perdí en la ciudad? Because luz es de objeto. Tengo que decir el que perdió. Si yo digo yo me perdí, cambia totalmente y digo I got. 
Mm -hmm. I got lost. Yo me perdí. Ajá, sir. Eh, y por eso es que el verbo get es uno de los más utilizados. I got lost. I'm sorry, teacher. Ya me perdí. I got lost. All right. So, eso no se puede utilizar solito. Pero si usted dice, perdí mi dinero. Ahí sí. I lost my money. Perdí el teléfono. I lost my phone. Porque es el que, right? So, very good job. That one I have to give it to men. Me faltan todavía, I believe, two people. So, I'm missing Joel. And I'm missing. Doo, 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 doo. I have Dalila, but Dalila is not feeling well. Alguien quiere tomar el lugar de Dalila, guys, girls. No girls. <laughs> Okay, so right. okay, okay, perfect. So Karen, I'm gonna take you. Okay, so Joel versus Karen. This is easy, guys. So what is the past of make a sentence in past with drink? With what teacher? Drink. I drank oh. a, a milk in the morning. Okay, okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. Got to give you that one. So I drank milk or some milk in the morning. Very good. Um, creo que me hace falta. I'm missing a minor and I'm missing Ivan. Guys, están aquí. Are you here? Yeah, teacher. Already, so minor. Creo que minor, no, right? Estaba en camino, I believe. Ivan está por aquí. Are you here? No se preocupen, miss. no worries. I, I totally get that, no problem. Okay, they are on the way. Okay, guys, so let's do the math. Veamos then how many points we got. So I have women, one men, one, two, two points, three points. Okay, guys, so according to the chat, women have 3.5. And men have 2.5. So the winners will be women. Very good job, girls. Boys, that was actually very good. Creo que hubiéramos tenido empate con eh, Juan Antonio. <laughs> okay, but for some reason. Sorry, uh -huh. teacher. No, that's fine. That's really good. La oración estuvo bien. You know, your sentence was really good. So that's what matters. Very good job with that. Now, uh, ¿por qué voy a utilizar these verbs? ¿O por qué es la importancia de revisar irregular verbs this way? Porque cuando usted dice, yo fui a una entrevista, utilizamos el verbo en pasado. I went to an interview. Yo como, no es lo mismo que yo comí. Right? Yo vine, no es lo mismo que yo vengo. So this is why I need to mention verbs in past. Um, la estructura de las oraciones no es nada complicada. It's not complicated. Lo único que vamos haciendo es eh, cambiando el verbo a pasado. So, vamos a necesitar tres elementos, right? Si les funciona, les escribo la estructura y luego armamos oraciones. So, we need the subject. We need a verb. Pero este verbo solo puede estar in past. Right? Verbos en pasado siempre los voy a modificar. Then complement. So, es lo mismo que ya vieron con el verbo uh, con do, con does, and everything. Solo necesito tres elementos, right? Now, hagamos oraciones. Help me make some sentences. Si yo quiero decir yo vine temprano, ¿cómo digo? How can I say yo vine temprano, guys? I came early. That's it. So, I. Okay, wait. All right, so I came, porque es el verbo en pasado, right? And then early, y eso es todo, that's it. So, yo ya hablé, o yo ya dije, las actividades que hice para el día de ahora. Solo necesito tres cosas. What did you do today? ¿Qué hicieron ahora? Oh, I came early. Yo cociné. I. Y tengo el verbo cook. Cook es regular, solamente le voy a agregar ed, por si no recuerdan. Los verbos regulares tienen una característica que es el ed, right? 
No hay forma de saber si le agrego o no le agrego, por eso es que me lo debo de memorizar. So I cooked my uh, dinner, for example. So guys, ¿qué hicieron ahora? What did you do today? What did you do during the day? I'll give you three minutes on your notebook, please. Escriban rapidito, write really quick. Que, uh, cinco actividades, five activities you did today. So, ¿qué hicieron, guys? What did you do? Uh, in my case, for example, I helped my boss with some report. Um, so, I, I walked for maybe 20 minutes. I was hungry, so, so I made, I make some plantain. And that's it. Okay, so take a look at this one here. I'm just adding uh, some extra information porque no solamente es así, right? I came early, but why? Eh, puedo agregar mucha más información. For example, I helped my boss with some reports. In the afternoon, I worked for 20 minutes and I was so hungry. So estaba muy hambrienta, right? I was so hungry, so I made some fried uh, plantain, right? So is a platano frito, right? I made some fried plantain. Guys, what about you? ¿Qué hicieron durante el día? What do you do today? So, I'll, I'll give you five minutes. Yo les pido cinco oraciones, but si pueden hacer más, if you can make the 10 or more than that, that would be really nice. Si hay algún verbo que no saben cómo decirlo, eh, búsquenlo, look for it, búsquenlo en la lista, right? Busquen el pasado, make sure you find it. Or también pueden, ahora pueden auxiliarse del diccionario. So check your dictionary y ahí les dice el pasado, si es regular o irregular as well. So cinco minutitos, guys.
Already, Maynard. So, vamos a escribir eh, qué es lo que hicieron el día de ahora, right? What did you do today? So, what activities did you do? La idea es escribir al menos cinco, but if you can write more, if you can write ten, that's good. That's really, really good. Okay, okay. Oh, guys, ¿cómo van? Are you doing fine? Ya casi terminan. Or les está costando un poquito ordenar las, las ideas. Oh, how, how, how are you doing there? ¿Lo encuentra difícil? Do you find it difficult? No, teacher, no difícil. ¿Qué es la parte que encuentra más complicada? El recordarse los verbos. El recordar que hicimos, teacher. Come on. Are you serious? Yes. Oh my God. No. Okay. And then you break it. Um, Jorge, so quick question. Um, Se refiere que escribió un proyecto. Did you write a project? Um, no sé si es wrote, like wrote. Estoy trabajando en un nuevo proyecto, sería. Ah, ok. So, but si está trabajando, no sería trabajé, right? Ah, es, es, ajá, sería todavía presente. So, no, trabajé no, no, no. es como algo que ya pasó, algo que ya no, no tiene ninguna importancia. Entonces, en the, in the last project. Exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, uh, for example, uh, last hey, month, uh, uh -huh. so last month, el mes anterior, right? I word, eh, word es un verbo regular, solo le ponemos ed. So I worked in, a, ¿en qué trabajo? What do you work on? Uh, in a project regulatorio, sería proyecto regulatorio? Regulation uh, project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probablemente it's a regulation. No estoy muy familiarizada con uh, el vocabulario. No sé si tiene que ver con un tecnicismo or something. Uh, son uh, proyectos uh, que nos, bueno, que, por, que son dados por entes reguladores. Esos son regulatorios. Okay, so regulatory project. O sea, Creería que hay un nombre específico for that, I believe. But, but yeah, we can be very specific y decimos cuándo sucedió, right? Okay. No tiene, yeah, son actividades que ya no tienen ninguna importancia eh, ahorita, ya no están pasando. So esto ya es pasado, right? That's why le llamamos simple past. So, <laughs> así es el ser. Cuesta un poquito pensar en qué hicieron, right? What did you, uh, what did you do? Or what you did? ¿Tienen preguntas? Do you have any question? Uh, ¿Ya tienen las oraciones? ¿Tienen sus ejemplos? ¿O do you need more time? Yes, I'm ready. You're ready. Okay. Amazing. Sounds really good. Sounds really, really good. Now, uh, I just got something here. So, vamos a revisar solo un poquito de something que se refiere. I was in the hospital. Okay, okay. Oh, that was a very good one, Dalila. That's a very nice one. Okay, ¿qué sucede si hay algunas actividades que yo no hice? Eh, obviously, siempre hay algo que no hacemos porque se nos olvida, because we don't have time, etc. For example, ahora no tomé café, right? So, siempre lo hago, it's part of my routine, pero no lo hice porque estaba muy ocupada. And Jorge preguntaba, ¿cómo hago negativas? Guys, in past, hay una cuestión bien interesante that is the following. I'm going to use a different color weight. So, um, in past, para hacer negativas, yo voy a necesitar subject, 
eso no puede faltar. I can never miss a subject. Pero acá ya no voy a usar ni was ni were. Ayer vimos was and were y el solito es negativo, pero con otros verbos no. So with other verbs, vamos a usar el pasado de did que se convierte en didn't, right? So the subject más el didn't. Y eso es bien importante. Verb, pero este verbo va a ser en the base form. Este verbo ya no lo puedo cambiar. I cannot modify this. So take a look at the sentence. How am I going to make some sentences? Guys, ¿cuáles son algunas actividades que se les olvidó hacer o que no hicieron el día de ahora? What's something you didn't do? So I come and I say, I didn't, right? So yo no. ¿Qué no hicieron ahora, guys? The homework. Qué barbaridad es esa. <laughs> ok, so I didn't do the homework. Ay, pero es pasado y por qué no estoy cambiando los verbos. Cuando usted vea didn't, didn't ya me dice que esto es pasado. Ya no necesito cambiar el verbo. En didn't no me permite hacer cambios con el verbo. Right? So, ¿qué más no hicieron, guys? What's something that you didn't do? Si, algo que siempre hacen, but you didn't do today. For example, hasta ahorita, este año, pues yo no ahorré nada de los meses anteriores. I didn't save any money, right? Gasté, I spent a lot of money, pero no ahorré nada. I didn't save any money. Uh, guys, ¿qué es algo que no hicieron last month, last week, last year? ¿Han salido del país? Did you go out of the country? No. Okay, so I can include those ideas, right? I didn't uh, travel out of the country. I um, didn't save money. Money. Okay, so you didn't save money either, all right? Like when you say, ay, no le puse gasolina al carro. So I didn't fuel the car, right? So we didn't do that activity. No envié el reporte. I didn't send the report. Guys, no los escriban. Díganme actividades que no hicieron eh, last week or last month. Algo que no hicieron. What, what is something you didn't do? Activen el micrófono, please. And let me listen to you. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't walk. Okay. On the last Monday. Okay. Why not? Why? <laughs> because? Uh, I'm sorry, no, no lo voy a escuchar. Esa parte, Jorge, because? Um, I, I didn't walk. Okay. Uh, last Monday, because? Oh, ¿Por qué no yes. caminó? Me dormí. <laughs> ah, ok. ¿Cómo okay. digo me dormí, guys? So I didn't work last Monday because, ayúdenos. ¿Cómo digo me dormí? Because I, he pasado todavía. Because, ¿cómo digo dormí? I was quedarse asleep. Dormir? I was ah, asleep. Ah, very good. Because I was, I was asleep. asleep. Ok. There nice. you go. I didn't walk last Monday because I was asleep. Mm -hmm. Or because I was sleeping, for example. Okay, very good. There you go. Okay, ¿qué no han hecho, guys? ¿Qué no hicieron this week or last week or last month? Okay, so I, didn't, I didn't go to gym. Mm -hmm. Why? Um, very what? Very young. I didn't go to the gym. So, como vamos a ver una, una razón, que siempre decimos because, because. Uh, because. Creo que quiere decir porque tenía mucho trabajo, right? Yeah. 
Sí. Ok, so guys, ayudemos a Silvia. ¿Cómo digo? Porque tenía mucho trabajo. So es el verbo tener. ¿Cuál es el pasado de tener? Ah. Uh -huh. ah. Y siempre voy a utilizar sujeto. No se les olvide sujeto, pero es que digo hay y digo hay otra vez. Sí, pero en inglés lo requiere. So I didn't go to the gym because I had a lot of work. A lot of things to do, mm -hmm. a lot of activities, a lot of work, I'm gonna write. So a lot of work. And there you go. So ya estamos describiendo actividades that you didn't do. I didn't do my routine because I was sick. Ah, exactly, exactly, Dalila, there you go. I, di I didn't take my breakfast this morning. Okay, very good, minor. Why didn't you take your breakfast? Minor, ¿por qué no desayuno? Why didn't you have breakfast? Bueno, well, mientras minor no responde, guys, tienen dudas, tienen preguntas, do you have any anything like here? Está claro, is it clear? Lo encuentran complicado. Tell me, guys, what? How do you feel with this topic? No es complicado, right? Solo es cuestión de practicar. And that is exactly lo que vamos a, a ir haciendo, right? That is what we are going to be doing. Because the ear... Ok. So, como siempre, vamos, damos una razón. Decimos siempre, I. Because I send the bills. Because I needed to take the bills. So, because I. Siempre damos una explicación. Ok, guys. There we go. So, vamos a escribir un par de preguntas. Eh, ¿Puedo borrar? Can I erase this? Yes. All right. So I have a couple of questions. I have a couple of questions for you guys. My first question is, what did you do? What did you do uh, today? Intenten describir todos los detalles que puedan, as many details as you can. What did you do? on the weekend, right? So remember, cuando vean you, estamos hablando de pasado. So todo tiene que ver con past. What did you do on the weekend? What did you do today? What did you do for your last birthday? ¿Qué hicieron para su cumpleaños? What did you do on your last birthday? Um, look, no es necesario que lo vayan escribiendo. It is not necessary. Pero pueden utilizarlo. My recommendation is, en, el, en la mente, en el aire, usted solamente arme. I, y después necesito verbo en pasado. So, y eso es todo. I drank. I ate. No lo vaya traduciendo, no es necesario. Piense de una sola vez en el verbo. I danced. I sang. I went, oh, I went to the beach with my friends. I danced, I danced some reggaeton and some Latin music y solo le va agregando más información, right? So it doesn't have to be complicated. All right, guys, so please vayan tomando nota, pregúntenle al compañero, entrevístenlos, escuchen qué es lo que ellos hicieron, right? Si es necesario, anoten palabras nuevas, new vocabulary, Take notes y luego nos van a venir a contar. Then you're going to tell us qué es lo que el compañero o la compañera hizo in these scenarios. So guys, I'm going to send you some invitations. Please go there, go to the groups. And dog, one second. I'll send you here. It's going to There. Okay, so Ivan, nos quedamos acá. Jorge, you can stay here. Juan Antonio, we stay here. Karen, too, and minor, too. Guys, los demás les va a aparecer la invitación para que vayamos, compartamos y anotemos. Please stay notes. And uh, 
me confirma si alguien aparte de Dalila no está available right now para, eh, para que no me lo dejen solo, right? So you don't leave the rest alone. Ok, guys, so let's do it. Compartamos in, the, in this group. I'm going to assign one person. Ok, so Juan Antonio, está por acá. Yes, teacher. Ok, perfect. So Juan Antonio, le dejo el liderazgo de la sala. Entreviste a los compañeros, please. Si puede hacer más preguntas, you can make more questions. And guys, entrevisten también a Juan Antonio, right? So, tenemos cinco minutos. Que respondamos las tres preguntas. No es necesario que las escriban. Intenten de una sola vez empezar a contar, right? So, uh, Juan Antonio, it's all yours. Interview your classmates, please. Ok. Hello. Hello. Okay. I'm a Karen. What did you do today? Okay. I went to the gas station. And I bought some fruit. And I I didn't walk today because I don't have had time and I went to different places to did some activities and I didn't do home office and you what do you do today Hello. Mm. I did do this work. work. Mm. Okay. I did. I went I went shopping and creo que solo eso no hice más and what buy what things do you grow when you were when you went shopping ¿Cómo? What things do you you grow when you went shopping? Ahí me perdió. <ríe> <ríe> eh, ¿Qué compró cuando fue a comprar o cuando hizo su compra? Oh. And shoes and uh, camisa de a shit. T-shirt. 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 Mm -hmm. T-shirt. T-shirt. Mm -hmm. eso. Okay. And what did what did you do on the weekend? Okay, I I stayed in my house, but only I went to the church for St. Joseph activity. And only that. Yes, only that. I 
I did the house of uh, the house homework. No, housework, as it said. The housework. Oh. Yes. Can you? <laughs> and you, what do you do on the weekend? I mean, I was at my house. Okay. Mm. I. ¿Cómo sería? Yo vi. Mm, ¿Qué vio? La tele, la alguna película. Ajá. Película, digamos. I watch. Movie. Sería igual watch. Mm, Ajá, B. Watch, pero al, al final lleva como una como una D o algo así. Watch, como una T o algo así. Oh, yes, ah. that's right. Le agregamos un sonidito de T. Es lo mismo, pero agrégale un ch al final. Uh -huh. Un ch. Uh -huh, como I watched. Ah, I watched. Agrégale otra T. I, I watched. Watch. Y ahora I watched. Yes, yes, that's good. Uh -huh. Very nice. Okay. Yes, that is fast. Uh, movies. Yeah. Solo eso, quizá. No salgo nada. <laughs> no, but, but guys, then the tie is give us a detail. Queremos el chambre completo. You, know? <laughs> you cannot kind of include a uh -huh, the kind of movie. Did you buy snacks? Did you buy some churritos? Did you drink soda? Mm -hmm. uh, did you fall asleep? Se durmió. I mean, everything. Todo lo que usted diga, ah, no, no hice nada. Todo es relevante en English. Because remember, la idea es utilizar el mayor cantidad de vocabulario. The most vocabulary you can use. Eh, guys, creo que acá hay más compañeros too, and you can interview them. So I see Maynard, I think I see Dalila está uh, escribiendo en el chat, I believe. You got uh, Jonathan, so interview the rest. That was good. Very... Okay, Jonathan, what do you do for your last birthday? No, está quizá. César. Tampoco estará. Uh, ¿Cómo no? Escuché a César hace un momento. So... O era Juan Antonio. Wait. O los he, conf he confundido sus voces, guys. Juan Antonio era chico. Que está hablando conmigo. But lo escuché igualito a César. So I was like, wait, that's Caesar. No le oh my God. No, no yeah, seriously. Really? Okay, Caesar, yeah. ¿está por acá? No, I think he's not. No. Eh, Jorge, uh, how are you around? Yeah, he's here. Oh, okay. he's here, guys. I'm here. Guys, alguien le pregunta difíciles a Jorge. So I'm a asking a lot of questions. Come on. Jorge, what do you did for your uh, mother's birthday? Well, what? What do you did for your mother's birthday? Uh, it's, um, I, I came to uh, a restaurant and, um, for dinner. 
and 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 uh, and eight cake and drink um, soda. Okay, solo pasado, Jorge. Don't, do not forget. I drink. Drunk, 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 drunk,
in the morning. Oh, that's mm -hmm. it. Eh, pero yo quiero, es que yo quiero poner did porque did es pasado, pero es que did ya no entra porque dice sujeto, verbo, complemento, tres elementos. Uh -huh. Con uh -huh. eso sería cuatro. So, uh -huh. mm -mm, ya no puede ir. O, ¿Y qué sucede uh -huh. con el was? I was worked. Tampoco uh -huh. se puede porque solo tengo un verbo here. So, uh -huh. I worked. Uh -huh. Eso es todo. Uh -huh. That's it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If uh -huh. I want to say, for example, yo... Eh, no sé, yo bebí uh, leche en la mañana. So again, uh -huh. I drank milk in the morning. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué this one? Quitémosle in the morning para que tal vez se vea un poco más claro. Uh -huh. I subject, el verbo ya ven pasado que es el drank y el uh -huh. complemento que sería milk. Mira, uh -huh. no me respaso la oración para agregar nada más. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O sea que so, si I yo did, digo, I, I, este, drink, eh, perdón, I, Ay, se me ha ido, pero me quiero ver. Quiero ver. Ay, manejar se me ha ido ahorita. Drive. Ajá, drive. ¿Cómo, drive. Lo dice, ¿Cómo lo dice usted en presente? Ah, yo voy manejando. ¿verdad? Dígame la oración. Give me the sentence in, in, Bye. in este, English. Yo estoy manejando. I'm drive. Ok, solo que en ese caso estamos utilizando presente continuo. Uh -huh. so, eso es algo diferente. Y yes, porque en eso I'm necesito... Exacto, I'm, I'm no driving. digo I am drive, sino que digo I am driving. ¿Qué uh -huh. estoy haciendo? Estoy describiendo lo que ahorita estoy Manejando. haciendo. Uh -huh. I am uh -huh. driving. Entonces, uh -huh. esto es diferente. En este caso, yo sí lo puedo hacer pasado, pero ya no es el pasado simple, es pasado progresivo. Uh -huh. Pero uh -huh. eh, para darles, guys, un poquito de ideas es lo siguiente. Si esto es presente, I am driving, ¿cómo uh -huh. hago esto pasado? ¿Cómo lo convierto en pasado? Solo voy a cambiar una. I dream, I dream. Uh -huh. I dream. I... Driving. Okay. Driving no lo voy a cambiar. I'm not going to change it. ¿Qué le voy uh -huh. a cambiar para hacer esto pasado? I was driving. Eso es todo. El pasado del verbo to be es was or where. Uh -huh, so, uh -huh. I am driving, I was driving. Uh -huh. Pero no es lo mismo que decir I drove. I drove, porque el solito es... Ah, ya, ya, ya. ya. Uh -huh. Creo que se me ha confundido con el ING. I believe. Sí, uh -huh. sí, sí. Yes. Uh -huh. Esto uh -huh. es un tema uh -huh. diferente. Yes, esto uh -huh. es presente uh -huh. continuo, pero uh -huh. significa que la actividad está sucediendo por 10, 20, 30 horas, right? Un uh -huh. periodo largo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ah, por el momento, y yes, creería uh -huh. que me lo ha confundido. But por el momento, vamos a enfocarnos uh -huh. en el simple, no. que solo es sujeto, verbo, uh -huh. verbo pasado. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. All right, you're welcome. Okay, uh, so guys, do you have any other question? Any doubt? El módulo anterior, si no me equivoco, revisaron un poquito de past, right? A quick question, ¿qué encuentran difícil? Entenderle al compañero qué es lo que dijo, escribirlo, recordarse de los verbos, o ordenar la idea. What's the hardest for you? Sinceramente, a mí lo que me cuesta, teacher, es el verbo en pasado. Ok, ¿verdad? los verbos. Eso es lo, los... Que, lo, que, lo que siento que me... Porque yo puedo decir, hay da dancing, o sea, estoy mm -hmm. bailando, pero el pasado de dancing, o sea, para que de una sola vez se haga la oración en pasado. Ah, Ay, en pasado. Ok, uh -huh. perfect, perfect. All right, anybody else? ¿Alguien más que quiera compartir? Sí, teacher. Dígame, say it, miss. Eh, para mí, esta parte que estamos viendo este día es un poco más fácil para formular oraciones. Creo que okay. son más cortas. Y pues solo tocaría eh, aprenderse los verbos y creo que es un poco más fácil porque lo, yo los he logrado estructurar okay. más que las otras oraciones que, que llevan quizás más complementos, entonces ahí me confundo, entonces ahora sí más que confirmado con la parte que usted acaba de aclarar. Ok, so la estructura está muy bien, sí. ordenarla, it's fine for you. Ya. Yeah. Ok, so solamente son los verbos también, just verbs. Ok, ok, guys. So, la idea de esto no es hacerles a uh, Simple Pass un monstruo, you ¿no? Know? Por, por alguna razón, Simple Pass 
es de las cosas que siempre tienden a complicarnos un poquito, um, eh, you know, the learning process. So, vamos a hacer algo. Let's do the following. Today is Tuesday. Um, ok. No les voy a dar una lista extensa de verbos, porque la idea no es ver 200, 300 verbos, imprimirlos en el set. Uh, sino lo poquito que vayamos aprendiendo, que sea bien aprendido. You know, that's really, really important. So, what we're going to do is the following. Les voy a dar cinco verbos por día. Five verbs per day. Pero solo les pido su compromiso, guys, en aprenderse esos cinco verbos de la mejor manera, right? Que usted lo vea e inmediatamente sepa cuál es el pasado sin pensarlo mucho. So, let's get started. And so, les voy a dar cinco today, cinco tomorrow en cinco hasta el día viernes, para el final viernes vamos a tener 20 verbos bien aprendidos. And hopefully, para el final del módulo tendremos eh, 40 verbos, 40 verbs, pero bien aprendidos de simple past, right? Vamos a trabajar solo con irregular. Los regulares no cuestan mucho, because lo más difícil de ellos es pronunciation. Entonces solamente vamos a enfocarnos en um, irregular verbs. So we have do, we have make, we have come, we have give, we have get two for five. Okay, and that's it. So guys, estos son los verbos para el día de mañana. These are the verbs uh, that I want you to practice for tomorrow, right? Lo mejor que puedan, the best way you can. Now, ¿cuál, cuál es el pasado de do? That would be did. Okay. De una sola vez, eh, positivos, negativos y pregun preguntas no lo hemos visto much. Hopefully lo vamos a revisar tomorrow. So we have come, el pasado es came. Le pueden tomar captura después, right? Or igual lo tienen en la lista de verbos para que lo puedan revisar. Y tenemos get, got. Got, got, ambos están bien. Both are good, right? So uh, guys, repitan conmigo, please. Repeat with me. Do did. Do did. Do did. Make. Made. Make. 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 Remember, la E al final nunca se pronuncia. Make. Make. Come came. Come came. 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 Give. Gave. Give. Give. Gave. Gave. Ok, cuida, cuidado con la pronunciación de esa palabra, right? Es gay. Gay. Yes, cierren los labios. Yo no te ir a gay. 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 Casi, pero, pero cierra, cierra un poquito el sonido. Es que estoy escuchando otra palabra, that's why. Creo que todo has dicho. No, 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 that's fine. Pero escuché a alguien que lo pronunció súper genial. That was really good. I don't know who it was. Ok. Game. Mm-hmm. Good. Cierre los labios, right? Next one. Get got. Get, get got. got. Get got. Okay, get very good. Got. Now, can you give me a sentence? Denme una oración, guys, con do. El pasado de do es dear. Give me a sentence. Remember, son tres elementos. I did. She did. We did. So, cualquiera, cualquier idea que se les venga con did. We did the, the homework in the platform. Okay, very good. We did the homework. Con make. Can you give me a sentence with make? I made my bed in the morning. Oh, very good. Alguien más? That's a very good example. Alguien más, guys? Made? ¿Qué hicieron? What did you make? Dinner. I made dinner. Okay. Deme la oración completa. ¿Qué más? I made dinner with uh, flor de sote. 
Okay. <laughs> That's very nice. Okay. What about came? Can you give me a sentence with came, boys, girls, or uh, chicas? Estoy escuchando. Give me a sentence, guys. Came. Boys. What are you? I came back. <laughs> Okay, so that's the one, right? Came, you remember, gave, pero cierro los labios un poco, gave, es diente labio, and got, get got, right? So, solo son cinco, only five, solo les pido, please, antes de la clase, cinco minutitos, repítelo, 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 a lot, right? Para que sea automático de, eh, ya que los utilicemos, right? No les voy a eh, poner 20 verbos, because I know how difficult it is. Pero cinco creo que se puede, right? I think we can do it. So, estos son los cinco para mañana. No se les olvide, guys, también trabajarme en la plataforma because that's very, very important. All right. So, oh my God, guys, time is over. Y la lluvia también acá ya quiere venir. So, I gotta take your attendance. Solo me regalan eh, confirmación verbal, please. And your camera, that would be very nice. So, oh my God, siento que el tiempo, you know, is running really quick. Uh, Mr. Reyes, regáleme confirmación, por favor. Present teacher. Gracias, espero que siga mejor, Mr. Reyes. Ceci. Ceci estaba acá. Ah, oh, there she is. Cesar. Present. Thank you. Yvonne. Present teacher. Thank you. Dalila, Dalila was there. Uh, Ivan. Present teacher. Thank you. Joel. Joel was there too. Uh, Jonathan. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos. Mr. Here. Was there. Thank you. Here. Car Karen. Present teacher. Thank you. Siempre que veo Karen, yo no me recuerdo de los gatos. And I'm like, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Carla, she was not. Thank you. So, Catherine um, Maynard. Gracias, Catherine. Thank you so much. Gracias, Dalila. Ya llegó Maynard, ¿todo bien? Ya está en casa, no. Yeah. Okay. Sí. Glad to hear that. Eh, Sandra. Present. Thank you. Silvia Estela. Present. Thank you. And Silvia Inés. Present. All right. Perfect. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for your nice attendance. We have full house. Really nice to have you. Guys, no se les olvide los cinco verbos para el día de mañana, right? That will be really, really nice. Gracias, Ceci. No worries. Ya, ya tomé acá su attendance. So thank you for that. And uh, Juan Carlos, si tiene, I'm sorry, Juan Antonio, si tiene un par de minutitos para el one on one, eh, le agradecería si no me confirma, right? And so, so, guys, have an amazing night. Que descansen. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. See you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Thank you, Juan Antonio. Le voy a robar acá eh, a couple of minutes, right? Para nuestra sesión de one on one. And uh, so, primero, normalmente nuestro one on one es para revisar un par de datos eh, por temas con los que tenga dificultades. But quiero aprovechar, ya que tenemos esta oportunidad, eh, para agradecer por la asistencia. Tiene una asistencia súper buena, like a very good one. Creo que por el momento no tenemos inasistencias, I believe, if I'm not wrong. And uh, estaba revisando también el, el control de tareas. And uh, estamos súper bien con las tareas as well. So, gracias. Thank you. Gracias por el compromiso, you know, por la puntualidad de estar acá, las dos horas, and everything. So, that's on my side. 
And uh, now me gustaría saber también cómo se siente, how do you feel? Um, si hay algo, you know, con lo que le gustaría trabajar or something, so um, I'm all ears. Hola, sí, teacher, este, más que todo siento que con la, con la parte de, de del entender más que todo, porque eso es lo que siento que me cuesta más. Digamos, cuando usted está hablando uh -huh. y habla en inglés, ahí es donde me pierdo, porque a veces sé más o menos lo que está hablando y a veces okay. perdido, perdido. Ok. Eso es lo que siento que me cuesta. Mucho. Listening. Uh -huh. Ok. That's a very good point. Now, um, eh, sí lo he escuchado, yo creo, me gustó muchísimo ahora que lideró eh, la sesión, pues lo escuché súper activo. Um, you were practicing, you were asking questions. Lograba, ok, quick question. ¿Lograba comprender lo que los compañeros le estaban contando? Algunas cosas. Ok. Ok. So, y, y en el tiempo libre que usted tiene, eh, no se sé, escucha algún tipo de video, uh, canciones, o hace ah, algún ejercicio adicional? Más que todo en canciones, digamos, que de repente miro videos así que aparece la letra con canciones, entonces me pongo a medio predicar con las canciones ahí. ¿eh? Ok, ok, that's a really good one. Ok, perfect. So... <coughs> Eh, ok, como eh, en los ejercicios que hemos hecho a veces con la práctica de listening, ¿siente que le funciona o lo siente muy complicados? Sí, que la verdad siento que sí me cuesta, teacher. Ok, pero siente que sí le, sí le ayuda, sí le aporta o no much. O sea, sí me ayuda, uh -huh. pero me siento perdido también a la vez. <risa> Porque claro, logro, lo que logro comp es que... comprender ciertas palabras, uh -huh. no sé. Ok. Ya con cuando a ver, lo demás no le hallo. Me frustro bastante. Ok, ok, comprendo. Sí, lo que pasa es que el listening nos va a tomar tiempo eh, porque es una habilidad que no estamos en un ambiente americano, right? No tenemos eh, como, no tiene nadie con quien practicar. Un familiar que vive en otro país o amigos que están estudiando inglés. Uh, prácticamente no, no tengo no. nadie casi. Sí, lo que pasa es que también depende mucho de eso, right? El tiempo que de, después de clase o fuera de clase, usted puede escuchar a alguien o pueda practicar con alguien. Vale, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Le voy a, a compartir un par de ejercicios. Eh, hágame un favor, me escribe en WhatsApp. Tiene mi número. Sí, en el grupo está, creo. Ok, vaya, perfecto. Eh, escriban, mándame un mensaje, mándame un punto, un hi o algo. Te voy a compartir un par de ejercicios. Y vamos a hacer lo mismo que hacemos durante la clase, right? But, pero vamos a comenzar desde lo más, eh, desde lo más simple. We're gonna get started eh, desde números, desde colores, right? Y vamos a escucharlo y luego usted lo va a escribir. So es como un dictado, but vamos eh, poquito a poquito para que nuestro oído se vaya acostumbrando. Una vez pasemos esa parte, entonces avanzamos con los siguientes ejercicios, right? So, mándenme un mensajito, send me a picture, or send me a text. Ya se lo mandé. Uy, no me ha caído. No, no I le cae, solo... Ah, oh, ya, ya está, ya está. No ya está, I think I got it. Ok, tengo un segundo. Okay, I'm trying to to look for it, um very easy exercises. So, no one sec going. Then un segundito. A moment here. Okay, I think I got it. Ok, ok, so what we're gonna do, lo que vamos a hacer esta semana, eh, no le digo ahora, right, sino que durante toda la semana, es vamos a comenzar a practicar eh, listening poco a poco, right, le voy a mandar estos ejercicios, 
escúchelos, eh, tomen nota de ellos, so go and take notes. Y cuando ya lo tenga, when you are ready, eh, me lo va a mandar. So you're going to send it to me. El ejercicio está bastante simple, I think. Y pues tiene sub, subtítulos, right? But la idea es que no, que no lo escuche, que no ponga el subtítulo, sino que um, usted pueda escribir. Un segundo. 7385, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, 7385. Bueno, le voy a mandar, comencemos con eso. Uh, let's get started with you. Por favor, no le voy a poner subtítulo. Solamente escúchelo unas cinco o seis veces cuando le sea necesario y vaya escribiéndolo. En su tiempo libre, no tiene que hacer mucho tiempo. Cinco o diez minutos por día, that's fine. Cuando ya lo tenga, cuando ya lo complete, me escribe, right? Eh, me comparte lo que ha escrito y lo revisamos. And we check. Si el ejercicio le funciona para el listening, le voy a ir dejando, le voy a ir asignando más ejercicios para que lo vaya trabajando, right? So, vamos a trabajar con su tiempo. Entonces, eh, cuando, no le digo para ahora, para mañana, sino cuando ya lo tenga listo. Si lo tiene para mañana, me lo envía, yes, right? Si I lo can tiene, can si quiere hacerlo ahora, you do it today. No hay problema, no worries. Okay, y me dice cómo se siente con él. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Okay, perfect, Juan Antonio. So, ya le robé tiempo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Del one on one, but I think it was necessary. So, siga trabajando, you know, está haciendo muy buen trabajo. Participeme todo lo que pueda during classes and sígueme trabajando en la plataforma. Too. So, gracias, eh, gracias por el tiempo y ya lo dejo ir a descansar también, que sí. ya viene la lluvia. En serio. All right, yeah, it's raining, kind of raining. Aquí All right. No, como no, it's gonna, ha estado muy caluroso. So, thank you, Juan Antonio. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night, chicas, gracias a usted. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.